be dealt with records suddenly found and memos newly discovered, a paper trail that has led even some Clinton loyalists to wonder, is Hillary Clinton a liability to the president? The White House was a picture postcard in this week's snow, as quiet and still outside and inside as I've ever seen it. When we met with Mrs. Clinton, she appeared confident and serene, seemingly unruffled by this week's storm of controversy. She'd read the accusations that she was inconsistent or worse, a liar, and she was ready to sit down and reply. Mrs. Clinton, instead of your new book being the issue, you have become the issue. How did you get in this mess where your whole credibility is being questioned? Oh, I ask myself that every day, Barbara, because it's very um, surprising and uh, confusing to me. But we've had questions raised for the last four years, and eventually they're answered, and they go away, and more questions come up, and we'll just keep doing our best to answer them, and hopefully it'll end at some point. Are you distressed? Occasionally I get a little distressed, a little sad, a little angry, irritated. I think that's only natural, but I know that that's part of the territory, and we'll just keep plowing through and trying to get to the end of this. Well, let's talk about some of the things that are so much in the news this mm -hmm. week. The travel office. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Last week, a 1993 memo by a former White House aide, David Watkins, was made public in which he says that you were responsible for the firing of seven people in the White House travel office because you wanted to have an Arkansas uh, travel agency take its place and there would have been nothing illegal about your doing that but you have said you had no idea how the decision was made and that you had nothing to do with it That's is right. he lying well I think what is fair to say is that I did voice concern about the financial mismanagement that was discovered when the president arrived here in the White House travel office I think that everyone who knew about it was quite concerned and wanted it to be taken care of. But I did not make the decisions. I did not direct anyone to make the decisions. But I have absolutely no doubt that I did express concern because I was concerned about any kind of financial mismanagement. So is it a question of how much concern? I mean, it, it, when you say you had nothing to do with it and he says you had everything to do with it, mm -hmm. Um, he's either not telling the truth or it's a misinterpretation or where are we? Well, I think, I don't know because I, I'm, I'm not uh, aware exactly of, of what led him to say that. But certainly Mac McClarty, who was the chief of staff, took responsibility for the decisions, has said very clearly I did not tell him to do anything. He made the decisions, but he did it in consultation with many people whose mm -hmm. advice he sought, whose concern he listened to. So I think, you know, that's something that I'll have to let someone else explain. You see, the picture...